My name is Carly Levy. I am Associate Professor of Pediatrics and I'm also um, palliative, hospice and palliative medicine trained and the fellowship director of our hospice and palliative medicine program, which actually oversees both a pediatric track and an adult track. What are we looking for in this program? I think there are a few things. I think um, certainly humility and an eagerness to learn, but I think what's unique about this program and what fellows, applicants should be thinking about is whether or not they want to be an educator. I think what makes our program truly special is that we really want our fellows to graduate feeling skilled at teaching these skills because palliative medicine is a small enough niche, there's not enough of us everywhere. Um, and quite frankly, every physician or nurse practitioner or provider should have some basis for palliative care skills. So no matter where our fellows go, they're gonna be thrust in positions to teach this. And so whoever lands in our program, they, they need to want to teach it. The perks of our program, I have to be honest, is the team that we are on. I love my team. I think that we are really supportive of each other. You know, we bear witness to a lot of suffering and sadness in our careers, but yet we try to celebrate the small successes, lift each other up, have a sense of humor, and also promote work-life balance. So I think that the perks of this job, fellows will really gain an appreciation of what it means to work on a cohesive, supportive team that celebrates work-life balance and boundaries so that they can sustain themselves in this field. The difference between the pediatric and the adult track curriculum, it's really, they're pretty much mirrors of each other. The only difference is the pediatric track fellow spends the majority of their time here at DuPont for their inpatient consultative time and then four weeks at Christiana, our secondary site. And the adult track fellow does most of their time at Christiana and then they have four weeks at, in the, at the pediatric center, which is DuPont. So otherwise their, their schedules are exactly the same. The adult track fellow um, who, who spends most of their time at Christiana are, they are incredibly busy. The service is very busy. They are embedded all over the hospital in the NICU, in the NICU, on the general floors, even in the emergency department. They see consults also on the outpatient side. Their ambulatory program has several branches. It's woven into the Helen Graham Cancer Center, the heart failure program. They have a home-based palliative care program, and they're also part of the transition practice of patients who actually transition from the pediatric world to the adult world. So they're everywhere, also in the ambulatory setting. And quite frankly, ambulatory palliative medicine is a hot topic. And once you've seen one um, ambulatory palliative medicine program, you've seen one. So the fact that Christiana has multiple programs is, is a draw for, for applicants, I would say. Our fellows see a wide range of patients in this hospital. They see patients undergoing bone marrow transplant, patients in heart failure awaiting heart transplant or VAD placement, patients receiving multivisceral organ transplants. They also see our neuromuscular patients in the neuromuscular clinic. They're all over the hospital and so we are embedded all over the hospital and because this hospital sees everything, our fellows see everything. Regarding educational opportunities, I pack them into our program because I recognize that they have one year. And of course, we're learning even after we graduate from fellowship, but it starts within the first week. They have a three-day boot camp that um, I designed several years ago that has now become multi-institutional, and we invite other programs, Jefferson, Cooper, Fox Chase, they all join us for it. But it's focused on pain and symptom management, and the third day is actually an incredibly special um, learning opportunity. It's a communication training workshop called Vital Talk. And if anyone in palliative medicine knows what vital talk is. It's a very prestigious evidence-based strategy in teaching communication skills and our fellows get to participate in that. So, it, so the boot camp is one thing but even throughout the year we weave in um, didactics every month equally weighted pediatric and adult content because their boards are both pediatric and adult content. And now we've invited other institutions to participate. Since we've moved to Zoom, at least temporarily, we're able to facilitate faculty even outside of our institution to participate in teaching our fellows. So we're taking advantage of online learning right now and trying to maximize the opportunities available. 
from an academic standpoint, our fellows have been able to present nationally or even internationally um, at conferences. They've been successful in their publications for peer-reviewed journals and also authors in book chapters. Um, and also I think a lot of fellows when they're looking at programs want to know where they're getting jobs and our fellows have been very successful in finding jobs. I am a biased person to answer that question because I think any provider that learns any palliative care skills, they're automatically be going to become a better doctor, whether that's learning better pain and symptom management or learning how to navigate difficult conversations with skilled communication tools. I think anyone who learns more palliative care skills is a better doctor. Thank you so much for expressing an interest in our program. I look forward to meeting with you virtually during interview season or in person maybe at a conference in hopefully the near future. Um, and I'm just excited for you to be part of our hospice and palliative medicine community. So good luck.